Okay, so I have to record this video again because my mic was off the whole time, <laughs> but yes, um, video, let's do it. Okay, so first of all, I have no idea why they chose one of the title cards as being made with cute cut because there's a big fat watermark in the corner. They could have just put something else there, put another title card, put something other than something obvious. But you know what? That's a nitpick. I'm moving right along. <laughs> Okay, so for the part where it flashes white, I'm not sure if the erasure marks around the neck were purposeful or not, but they don't look so great if they weren't purposeful. If it, if it was a mistake, maybe try instead of doing whatever that is. So maybe try this. Take the black part, the one that looks fine, and then copy and paste it. And then use, um, put the effect invert colors or invert or whatever or something like that on, the, on it so it inverts the colors. I'm not sure if Cute Cut has this, but most editing programs, no matter how basic, um, do usually have that effect, so at least try doing that first. Or if not, you can use whatever program you use to edit that to do it, because, I don't know, usually programs have that kind of thing. It's a very simple function, but if you can't do that, maybe just, I don't know, fucking paint bucket tool, the, the thing. You copy and paste the frame separately outside the editor and paint bucket the colors. You know what? I'm I'm going on too long about this. <laughs> Okay, so this is another example of Gadget Kids not exactly knowing, um, or not exactly noticing, I should say, when the frames should start and stop. The frames, um, you can see, obviously, are slightly detached from one another on the beginning. They appear at different times, that's what I'm trying to say, so... It very, it, it, it's a very simple mistake to fix. All you really need to do is line them up correctly in the timeline and make sure the ends of, of, of both are flush with each other, if that's um, the visual timeline. Or at least just watch the video once before you start, you know, publishing it, because it's, it's just easy, it's just, you catch mistakes. And I'm not sure if they thought that that was an acceptable mistake to make, because it just, it, it just makes everything look so messy. <laughs> So yeah, with this blue character, the head isn't even on the body, it's just completely detached, and it's just floating, but the hair also cropped very, very poorly. You could see exactly where they where they cut it out, so, <coughs> oh, pardon me. So maybe try um, um, either taking it out separately and drawing it and f filling it in in a drawing program, or just, you know not use gotcha and draw your own art, but then again, I'm not here to tell people the obvious, I'm here to critique what I can. So let's just keep going, it's basically just the same thing over, so at least add some variety, especially with the character movement, because the same character is doing the same thing. Very, very basic, boring, not very great to look at. So at least try and add some something, you know, fun or fancy to look at that's not this. <laughs> So to preface this video, the creator has almost 20,000 subscribers, which is quite a lot for this kind of content. It's very lackluster, and it just goes to show that kids will subscribe to literally anybody, so let's just get right into this. And by the way, this video will have flashing in it, so keep an eye out for that, but yes. Alright, wonderful. There's just a bunch of needless flashing in here. It is interjected by some characters doing stuff, but it doesn't really matter because it's it's annoying and it's useless and it really should not be there. So try and put something else there. Title cards, more characters, whatever. Because this is just flashing, it's very annoying. <laughs> So 
the, it, the way they edit this is very inconsistent throughout this entire video because they start off only editing the head and the body. The ears and the upper and the lower arms are just left as is, which is kind of a jarring effect. But then they start editing the rest of it too, which again, they start editing sections of it, but they don't actually edit the whole thing. I, th I don't think so anyways, but... Yeah, try to keep your editing style consistent, and I'm, I'm doing them a favor by calling it editing because in reality it's just glorified tracing. But yes, um, try and keep your style or whatever consistent throughout the whole animation meme. And also, I'm not sure if those are wrinkles in the shirt or stab wounds, and I don't think he had like, I don't think he has stab wounds in the other one, so those might be just really bad wrinkles. I don't know, man. It, nothing's consistent about this, so that's my main point here, consistency. Let's keep going. Also, the neck is super thin compared to the head. It's like balancing a bowling ball on like a peg. So, again, try to keep the proportions at least semi-realistic if if stylized. So, yeah. So I'm not sure why the audio just kind of cut out there. Maybe it was to um, complement the effect of the door slamming, but that wasn't a very Either way, even if it was done correctly, I don't think that would have made a very good cut-in because it just seems really out of place, even if the audio was edited correctly, but who cares. And again, as you can see with the, the glorified tracing, as I like to call it, they are now editing the head, but seem to have neglected the body, or at least it does, it's not as obvious as the head is. So try, again, heed what I said earlier, consistency, let's keep going. So the first time I saw this, I thought the mouth was like a really weird nose, but then I realized, oh yeah, it's a mouth. It's just really high up. So try and, you know, lower that thing a little bit because if if, if the nose was there for reference, it would be like literally the mouth, the top of the mouth would be like directly below the nostrils. Like you could lick the inside of your nose if the proportions were, you know, applied to a real human being. But again, that's just something easy to fix. Just put the mouth down a little lower. Um, maybe scooch the eyes up a bit so there isn't like a massive forehead space, but yes. Okay, so the doll parts here, there's a bit of an obvious disconnect between the upper arms and the lower arms because, you know, there's a drop shadow there. For the most part, try and keep your seams very, you know, seamless because it just doesn't look good when you, your doll looks like it's falling apart. And for the record, I have these two characters shown are in a relationship, but it, you literally don't see any of that until the end. None of the characters are mentioned or like visible in each other's stories. Even if they were, it would go way too fast to tell. And I'm sorry, I'm like kind of twirling my pen and dropping it, but yes, try and make your, your relationships between characters obvious and at least, you know, try and mention the characters or show them at least once in their backstory. It doesn't even... It, it, none of them relate at all. Like, it's just so random. There's nothing to be seen in terms of relationship until the very end of the video. So you're just kind of wondering, oh yeah, who are these characters and what do they have to do with each other for the first part and the second part? Yeah, <laughs> let's just keep going. So already we have this very stereotypical uwu soft girl kawaii thing. It turns edgy into an edgy wolf girl. I mean, they were both wolf girls before, but that one has a tail, I think. Uh, yeah, there's a tail. But anyways, this character, the edgy version, is crying blood, so I'm not sure if this is a troll or not, but I'll just keep giving light critique anyways, because I don't have anything- I I'm just lazy. I'm very tired, but yes, let's keep going. So this is all just a bunch of images with very, very loosely tied semblance to one another. 
So try and um, try and at least form a better story. Also, another bit of a nitpick: the background doesn't match the aesthetic at all. So maybe try and keep it a little darker, you know, to fit with the song. But yes, try and keep the story at least somewhat clear, because right now it just looks like the girl's getting tired, and then her IG self comes and beats the shit out of her or whatever. I don't care. <laughs> why this looks super desaturated and washed out. Maybe it was intentional, maybe it wasn't, but if it was intentional, maybe try and keep the background the same desaturated color as it was before, because the cut-ins with the regular blue just make it look messy and kind of a, like a mistake, so yes, try and keep it like that. Or maybe it was just, uh, uh, maybe it's a stylistic choice, but even if it was, get a better style, because that does not look very appealing, in my opinion. Gotta say the in my opinion part so people don't fucking crucify me in the comments. Alright, epic video. I just made it. Yeah, I, I did something today. But anyways, yeah, it's the end of the video. I have some merch now. Made it for fun. Don't want to expect anyone to buy it, but if you're interested, link's in the description. I'm gonna go play Minecraft now. See ya.